The hits just keep on coming, so don't put a thumb in it. Hit the thumb like button instead. My name is Kit. This is Chicago Reacts. As always, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that ring bell notification. That way, all of you are made aware when we upload new content onto our YouTube channel. And you know what? We're reading the comments. We're reading all of your suggestions. And uh, once again, we return back to the great state of Kentucky. Mandatory cheers. Just hear them in the background. The great state of Kentucky. Kentucky, Kentucky ballistics, that is. And once again, all of you are saying, hey, look, we love what you're doing, Chicago Reacts. We dig it. Not only do we want more cowbell, but you got a craving. And it's more four-bore rifle. All right, that, that, that didn't sound good. It sounded good in my mind, okay? So everyone, leave me alone. Leave it alone. I just thought I I thought it I thought it sounded cool. So yes, we return back to the four ball rifle. This time, not fighting off against zombies or any other monsters for the time being until maybe uh, ballistics gel is able to make a life size version of a Tyrannosaurus Rex skull. I'm not telling them to do it. I'm just saying that they need to do it. See the difference? Uh, <laughs> but apparently, four ball rifle versus body armor, the biggest rifle ever. There should be four exclamation points there instead of three, but you know, I'm just I'm just nitpicking, just nitpicking. So we turn back to Scott of Kentucky Ballistics talking about that four ball rifle versus the body armor. So um, grab yourself a tasty snack and a tasty beverage, and we're just about to once again go hunting again in the great state of Kentucky with that four ball rifle. And once again, I am going to put that suggestion out there. Look. To those who have played uh, Project Zomboid, you know, it's a great, great game, great series. I'm not telling the modders what to do, and I'm not even going to tell the game creators what to do. But you should add in that game the four-bore rifle. It's, you know it's the right thing to do. I mean, come on. Who are you kidding here? Who are you kidding here? Add in the four-bore rifle because it's the right thing to do. So without further ado, without further ado, as always, folks, the original video is in the description box below, so please throw them a like and a support. A lot of time and effort is made into making these videos, so please support Kentucky Ballistics. With Again, you can find them. The original link to the video is in the description box below, so please do that right away. But without further ado, since I'm in charge of the ones and twos, let's get ready to play this video and check it out. And a three, a two, a one. We have soft armor and we have hard ceramic plates. I'm gonna take a shot at each one with the four bore rifle and see how it holds up. Campbell soup can four bore. Mm. This is a Christian firearms falling block single shot four bore. It Beautiful. has a one inch in diameter barrel, 50 BMG. The four bore is 2,150 grains, produces over 200 pounds of felt recoil. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> this is gonna hurt so bad. Boy, I really feel sorry for your chiropractor, man. I mean, come on, dude. Listen, Scott, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Take it easy on your shoulder. I mean, maybe he's doing some little bit of yoga, stretching, you know? Be sure to stretch, drink water, do your yoga. Now, if yours truly was to fire or something like that, look, I'm not going to sit here and act like a tough person. I'd probably be thrown into the neighboring state in Kentucky. It's just... That's just all I'm saying. Because all of you have been writing in the comment sections, uh, that weapon is used to stop a ra rampaging elephant. Okay. But seriously, I must ask Kentucky people, people of Kentucky, is there like a dimensional gate opening up and zombies are coming out and other untold monsters? Let, let, let your fellow Americans know what's going on. If you need some help, just throw it out there. <laughs> What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and we're back for another four bore video. I've been keeping track of your comments and the most requested thing has been body armor. So that's what we're gonna do today. I am gonna blast some body armor with the four bore. I have some bullet safe armor 
We have soft armor rated up to 44 Magnum and hard ceramic plates rated for 556, 762, and things like that. I'm gonna take a shot at each one with the four bore rifle and see how it holds up. But before we get started, just in case you don't know what a four bore is, let me give you a quick lesson. So here's mm -hmm. some rounds that you may already be familiar with. This is a nine mil, 44 Magnum, mm -hmm. 308, 500 Magnum and a 50 BMG. And now here they are compared to the four bore. This that's a big old thick round. Come on. You know I gotta do the the, the the funny jokes. I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. Did you expect philosophy? Before anyone else, uh, writes in the comment, uh, I expected philosophy. You came to the wrong channel. 50 BMG is a half inch in diameter and 650 grains. The four bore is a whole inch in diameter and 2,150 grains. This is a Glock 17 nine millimeter and this is its 17 round mag compared to the four bore. And for those of you who are not around firearms very much, here's something you can compare the four bore to. This is a Campbell's soup can and here is the four bore. And this is the monstrous four bore. This is a Christian firearms falling block single shot four bore. It has a one inch in diameter barrel. God and this damn. Thing weighs over 20 pounds. You just pull this lever and lower your block. Oh. How that little thing get in there? <laughs> Put your four bore round in and then raise your block. And then after that, you're gonna wanna hang on to this thing for dear life because it's gonna be producing over 200 pounds of felt recoil. So now it's time to get started. We have a Ballistic Dummy Labs Zombie Torso. It has lifelike bones, organs, flesh, and has been zombified with green blood. And we're gonna start out with the Bullet Safe Vital Protection Soft Armor. It's rated up to 44 Magnum. I'm gonna hit it with one or two rounds that it's rated for, and then we're gonna blast it with the four bore. I'm Jesus. gonna start out with a Glock 17 9 mil, loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 124 grain full metal jacket. Okay, all right. Let's see how it holds up. Let's go. One, two, cool. Three. Yeah. Oof. Ah. Hmm. Oh. Right there in the center. Ah. Okay. God damn. Okay, let's have a look see, shall we? I'm just gonna undo these straps. I can already, oh, yep, I can already tell. Looks like I just kinda clipped the armor with the first shot. I hit right here, mm -hmm. and that's right where that armor stops. Ah. So we did not stop that round, and did a little bit of damage to Mr. Zombie. But as for the other two, I actually hit armor. It stopped the nine mil. We have a little bit of material here on the zombie. So it stopped those nine mil rounds, no problem. Let's go ahead and skip a few and step it up to its max rating, which is 44 Magnum. So this is my Magnum Research Desert Eagle chambered in 44 Magnum, and I'll be loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 240 grain jacket at hollow points. All right, here we go. Oh. 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 Let's go check that out. Okay, those were two good hits. We have one right here and one right here. And I'm sure that Mr. Zombie felt that. Okay, yeah. Oh gosh, ooh. Okay, so. Whoa. There's the armor. Um, it stopped both rounds of the 44 Magnum. But as you can see here, um, the body armor really kissed the zombie's chest. That's soft armor for you though. It's gonna stop the round but you are gonna feel it. And boy, yeah. are you about to feel it. I'm gonna get a fresh soft armor vest, put it on Mr. Zombie, and then we are going to blast him with the four bore. Wait a minute, hold on. Good luck, buddy. I am about to offer up my body as sacrifice for your entertainment when firing this behemoth of a round. And all I ask of you is that you be so kind to hit that subscribe button. Folks, please, throw some support. Uh, a lot of time and effort and uh, Scott's uh, shoulder. 
will be very grateful for it. So again, the original link to this video is in the description box below. Throw some love to Kentucky, okay? Okay? The Kentucky Ballistics, to be more precise. So, um... Okay, Mr. Zombie is about to get it in the chest. With that big old round. That big old thick four-ball round. I should be more mature, and I should be better, but... I don't wanna. <laughs> I put it in there. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's gonna hurt so bad. <laughs> Woo! All right. Say goodbye, Mr. Zombie. Go. Oh! oh! Holy sh! Whoa, wait a minute. Look. God damn. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he, oh, I mean, duh. I mean, of course. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's have a look at Mr. Zombie here. My prediction okay. is that the round did not completely make it through the vest because it's such a big round uh -huh. i think it would have trouble cutting through there especially with it being a flat point i think it probably oh gee i think it probably stopped in the vest but i'd say the zombie is probably still pretty messed up okay here we go oh that that, that vest is All gone right, so we've got a big hole right here right in the front of the vest and that's what she said big big hole I should be better. Um, I can... Oh, no. Look, there's, like, no armor. This is just a flap. This is all just flaps. This oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, check this out. Let's get this out of me. Oh. Oh. All right. So, if you look right here on his back... Okay. You can see he is split open. And split open here. And I think that's because he has a whole level 3A vest shoved into his chest cavity. Oh. No. Here. That does not look good. Oh. Oh. Oh my, oh my God. Oh. Oh, bro. He ain't going to make it. What the heck? Look at this. It caught it. But all it did was turn it into a bulletproof vest torpedo. Jesus Christ. Where's the round at? You can see right there. Okay. Where it was. But it's encapsulated inside this cloth. You got to cut it out. Holy oh. cow. Oh my gosh. That is a big piece of lead. So just like I thought... This is a big, flat, slow-moving round. It's okay. producing a lot of energy, but it's not moving very fast. And speed is what defeats body armor. But our zombie here, he's still toast. It did not matter that the armor yeah. could technically stop this behemoth of a round. It still delivered all of its energy, whether the zombie liked it or not. And as you can see here, there's just a big old, a big hole. Well, I'm yeah. going to say he's toast, but luckily, I brought a backup. Oh, he's got Man, those those ballistic gel thing. Those people. Hey, listen, the people who are making those zombie torsos. Again, maybe you could do it on the anniversary of, I don't know, Jurassic Park when it first aired, or maybe if Prehistoric Planet does uh, another one like Prehistoric Planet Three or something. Right? Not telling them what to do, but it could be one of those rare special things that they'll create, like, uh, uh. I like guess a ballistic gel version of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. A stutter there. Skull. I mean, it seems like a reasonable idea. And not to mention, look, you never know if there's going to be like a dimensional gate opening up. And, I mean, come on. You, you need to have the military, law enforcement, and, yes, citizens here in the USA to be ready to, to train to shoot at a, 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 a dinosaur. Just... I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm just saying that it's a brilliant, great idea. Okay? Just 
throwing it out there. You guys are heavy. Shout out to all my UPS drivers. I am so sorry. How much you want to bet those UPS drivers are like, oh, oh, we got another torso to deliver. <laughs> so now I'm going to get this zombie set up with some hard armor. These hmm. are bullet safe, level four ceramic plates. They're rated for 556, 762, 308, and all that good stuff. I am not going to put this in a carrier. I'm just going to duct tape it to him. A few moments later. Seems reasonable. It's legit. Yeah. Back right? Yeah. Seems reasonable. I know this is rifle armor, but we're going to start out by testing it against the world's most powerful handgun, the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. This has an 8 and 3 8 inch barrel, and we're going to hit it with some very potent rounds. This is Underwood Ammo Kentucky Ballistics 600 grain hard cast. All right, here we go. All right, let's go. Oh! Oh! Oh, he got hit hard. This is kind of giving us a sneak peek into what's going to happen when we hit it with a much larger round. So it definitely stopped the 500 Magnum, but boy, did it do some damage to that plate. Jeez. So right here you can see quite a bulge and it does not look like it did very much damage to the zombie. So now let's hit it with some actual rifles. I'm going to throw a curveball at Ooh. you. I'm going to use a CMMG 350 Legend. And I'm going to be loaded up with three different rounds. These are Underwood ammo. This one is a 170 grain soft point, a 170 grain TSX, and a 150 grain controlled chaos. Okay. So soft point. TSX and then control chaos. Here we go. Let's go. Oh. Ha. Ah. Oh. God damn. Che oh, right, right below, almost near the groin. Gee. Ah. That, uh, that did a lot of damage. All right. You think? Well, yeah, of course it did. So we have a hit here. Okay. A hit here and a hit here. Took out a lot of ceramic. It looks like it stopped all the rounds. This one here, I kind of hit low. Yeah. And I think he got nicked with some ceramic. Ew, Ooh. that is gross. Still a little bit of life left in this plate though. So I'm just going to just kind of set it right there. Seems and reasonable. I'm going to hit it with one more rifle right there on the top. Okay. The last rifle I'm going to hit this armor with is an FN SCAR 17 chambered in 308. Mm. I have a 20 round mag loaded up with just one round of Underwood ammo, 175 grain controlled chaos. There we go. Oh! Okay. So it appears that our plate did indeed stop the 308. We have a slight bulge, and Mr. Zombie appears to be A-OK. -okay. You're not about to be, though, because up next is the four-bore. OK, here we so go. I put this plate up against my chest. It is touching me. All surfaces seem to Yeah, Yeah, but look, I think you need to get, like, a bigger one. Well, something that's a little bit larger, buddy. Just. I think I think it's uh you know it does it looks it looks too small. Just throwing it out there. Be touching my chest. It's not the case with the zombie though. When I put it on him, you can see that there is quite a gap. So mm. the energy transfer that would happen to me wearing this plate versus him wearing the plate is going to be a little different. So I want this plate to be completely touching the zombie. So I'm going to set it about right here. And as you can see now, it is snug against the zombie. Mm. Let's get this thing loaded up again. Oh, my God. Shoulder fired artillery. Oh, that it is. Here we go. Oh. 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 Whoa! Holy cow! Look! Look! Hold on. We're gonna rewind that. 
Because I can do whatever I want. I'm in charge of the ones and twos. Oh, oh. Dude, like right there. It just goes right in. Doesn't matter. Ribs are what's for dinner. Skin ripped right off. I almost sound like one of those uh, sports uh, sportscasters, you know? Yeah, they, it's, it's a bold move, Johnny. Let's see how it works out. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, there's the green blood. There goes the round. Jeez! Oh, that didn't even do a goddamn thing. Ah! It's like, why even bother? Oh my gosh! Alrighty then. Let's have a look, shall we? So, as you can see here, um... This zombie uh, got pretty messed up. That was a lot of energy transfer. And judging from this plate, I don't think it would have mattered if I would have put it up against his chest on this side or right in the middle where there was a little space because I'm pretty sure it would have filled the space quite easily. Holy smokes. Jeez right. Louise. Got nailed. Look at that. That didn't even do anything. Oh. May have come out. Okay. Because it ain't in there. And then let's inspect Mr. Zombie. I looked at the slow-mo footage and it appears that his skin turned to liquid and shot out the side along with the majority of his ribs. And as you can see, it pretty much vaporized his lung, uh, these ribs, uh, all this is broken up and he's missing his entire side. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. I'm not a doctor, but I'm gonna say that this right here that's not a good thing. No. Sound medical advice. Ten out of ten. I I I I I I will not disagree with that medical statement. I and if and it, hey, if we have doctors, um, doctor scientists, nurses, people, physicians. Mathematicians uh, in our viewing audience, give us your detailed analysis of wh what happened to the zombie torso. Your medical expertise will be greatly appreciated. Type it in the comment section below. So my conclusion is body armor may stop the four bore round, but it's not going to stop the four bore energy. No. So these zombies bodies are absolutely thrashed, but their heads are still good for now. I have one more ceramic level four plate and I have these zombies head to head. And again, look, maybe it's a running gag. How many tables does this guy go through? Cause I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of tables. Each, each seems to have been destroyed. How many tables has he gone through? Feedback is required. I'm going to put this ceramic plate up against the first zombie and take a shot with the four bore. Okay. I imagine that the energy transfer is going to be pretty tremendous and zombie number one is going to feel it. But will zombie number two feel it as well? Let's find out, shall we? This is about to be pretty interesting and I'm going to be using a different round. We've been using a flat nose that weighs 2,150 grains. Now I have a round nose, and this weighs 2,050 grains. It's 100 grains lighter. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, mm -hmm. but I'm excited to try it. Let's try it out. There we go. Jeez okay. Louise. Here we go. Oh! Ha! <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, look at that. Hold on. I get to do whatever I want because I'm in charge of the ones and twos. Here we go. Oh! Look at that. <laughs> Whoa. But pause right there. The skull. Oh, man. Like the skin ripped off and everything. 
everything comes loose and that head just uh, the other head. Look at that. Obvious that zombie number one did not make it. No. The ceramic plate took one heck of a beating and it transferred all that energy into zombie number one. You can see that, uh, well, he's not doing too good. No. Zombie number two, though, I think he just has a concussion. You can see his face is split. Mm. And uh, that's about it. No cracked skull. And if you look right here, it's the round. It's completely flattened out and amazingly still really intact. Okay. But when you have a 2,000 grain bullet, what do you expect? Go. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope. Quick question. Maybe this is for Kentucky ballistics, right? But um, once you're done destroying these zombie torsos, uh,. How do you dispose it? Because I'm pretty sure there might be that one moment where, like, the garbage people are just going through the dumpsters, and they're like, oh, my goodness, is this a dead body? No. And they're probably, like, the older guy who's in charge of the garbage. They're like, no, no. That's just Kentucky ballistics handling the zombies. Anyways, no, but seriously, how, how do you dispose of those ballistic gels? Just a question. Inquiring minds want to know. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Very good. Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. Heads up. Very good. Very good. All right, I think we learned something here today. Um, and the lesson is, um, yes, you can stop the four-bore rifle with body armor. But you can't stop the energy. Um, I don't think anything can stop the energy. It's designed to take down a charging, raging elephant. All right, that's, that's, that's what it's supposed to do. So if you're a human or a zombie, guy or gal, um, if you are to go one-on-one -on -one with the four-bore rifle, it is going to go down in the great book of world's most one-sided fistfights caught on film. But instead of it using its fists, it's just going to be shot at you and you are going to be turned into hamburger meat. So, yes, four ball rifle. Too big and out of control. But we love it. And, by the way, uh, again, just, just curious. How, we, we already saw the truck run over the ballistic gel bodies. How do you dispose of, properly, of those remnants of those zombies threatening the great state of Kentucky? Um, if we have an expert in the, in the chat, in the comment section, uh, Enlighten us, inform us. Inquiring minds want to know. And if you like this kind of content, please give us your feedback. Yes, we do read the comment section, so uh, make it happen. And again, as always, please, please, please support the original content creators. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. So please support the original content creators. Do that. Do that now.
or you will receive some full bore action. Peace out, folks, and stay safe. Drink water.